So this is what I've been doing today, my little bit of gardening I've been doing today. In here is my snowdrops and some hellebores. You can see they're just, these are the hellebores. And there are some of the snowdrops that are just beginning. And then there's other snowdrops that are smaller. Anyway, what I do is, I've only done half the bed. This is the half I haven't done. And it's beech leaves and beech nuts, and the leftover nasturtium, bits of nasturtium and dead lengths of foxgloves. It's also where the hydrangeas are. So I've only gotten halfway there, but I decided to bed it down in the bark mulch, the rotted bark, well-rotted bark mulch. And it makes such a difference in how it looks. Here, it's kind of wild and woolly. And here, you'll be able to really see the snowdrops as they come out. As you can see, some of them are already coming out. And this bed has the iris stagliosa along the outside of it. You can see, here's the iris stagliosa. They're wonderful little iris, beautiful, hardy winter iris. So that is what I've been doing today. Those are ferns that I pulled out of a wall that was being torn down somewhere else. And so I put them there. Hopefully they will survive the ferns. And during the summer, the hydrangea are here. And the bamboos are there to prevent certain people from walking around easily in there and breaking the heads off of the snowdrops. So I will do this second half on another day. I've got so much to do. Sadly, um, this area, the Iris stagliosa hasn't done so well right there. It starts going good there and good here. But, uh, and the hydrangea have done really well. But they're a summer planting. So there we go, that's my gardening for the day. But I must say the Iris stagliosa are such a wonderful, brilliant pop of color during the uh, winter months, which I really, really like. Look at them, so beautiful. And then there's the snowdrops. So this bed has been being developed. Oh, Inca, really? And the bamboos are supposed to work. Normally they do. Maybe they just prevent you from digging. You're bold. You're exceedingly bold. Yeah, and you're bold too. Oh, bugger. I thought my lovely bamboo sticks were gonna solve the small dog in the flower bed problem. So maybe I've got to put more bamboo stumps in there. Dogs, I tell you. I still have to plant these. Um, they're going into another bed somewhere else. And uh, not in this bed. Because they'd take over. And I, they, the bed that I'm putting these in, it doesn't matter if it, they take over. So, okay. That's one job done. <laughs> 